When you're using the derma wound venous stasis formula, you'll often notice that sometimes the wound will get larger, it will get deeper. That is because it's auto debreeding out any non-viable tissue that needs to come out. We don't need to do this with a sharp surgical debridement. We don't need to use an autolytic type of topical to debreed this area. It's very painful. Somebody wants to put Santal on a venous aces leg wound, I would say, well, you get a venous aces leg wound yourself first, and then you put Santal on it and you see if you think that's a good idea. With derma wound venous stasis, it's going to add a anesthetic component, a cooling component. It's going to rapidly pull out edema, inflammation from that area. You're going to get a decrease in the edema around the periphery of the wound and it's going to start to shrink. The wound will start to heal from the bottom up and the sides in. You're also going to get a massive amount of drainage in the beginning. If this is an older venous stasis leg ulcer, we've had venous stasis leg ulcers that sometimes are 19 years old. The legs are swollen, they're edematous. Really, people are in bad shape. These types of wounds are going to drain while the body tries to naturally flush itself out. And as I was saying earlier, if you do have uh, an allergy to iodine or to benzocaine, then even if it is a venous stasis leg type of wound, you want to use the derma wound hypoallergenic formula in that instance.